we have started the video absolutely brilliant um so um, there was quite a nice amount of support on the previous video um so basically what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to do i think maybe two or three more people for this um so as we speak right now there is still submissions all right people want me to react to more clouded people keyword clouded people because that's the focus of today um so yeah we're gonna do clouded people today um what i mean by clouded people well i mean people with lots of subs Because I, I, I'm just feeling that um, today, you know, I, I just want to, you know, anger fan bases everywhere worldwide and, uh, you know, send a fucking mob after me. So, yeah, progress. Can't believe I'm saying that before I'm going to roast the fuck out of people. All right. Uh, let, uh, Timo, oh, fuck it. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do Timo. Okay. Uh, okay, so... So the here's the thing, we, we all know who Timo is, right? So like he's the guy that was like uh reload recon start trend poggers. Li that's literally him. Alright. So um I've been told to react to him. Uh yeah. Uh, I spoke to Timo himself and he was like, Yeah, gross me bro. So uh you you asked for it. Then what you 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 ask for it. You you ask for it. Uh, oh fuck! He has a podcast. Oh shit! Oh, I guess we all know he's gonna be a virgin for the rest of his life then. Um, as as with most people in podcasting. Oh 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 oh! So you want to bring up the fact that Logan Paul has a podcast? I mean, like, yeah, Logan Paul has a girl friend, but uh, I never said that he that he wasn't a virgin. I mean, I'm not saying there's a connection. It's just, you know, they might be. I'm not saying that it's definitely a connection with having a podcast and having a virginity. I'm just saying there might be a connection. I'm just saying. Uh, so, I guess we're just going to look at um, some this is new Nerf Reload series. I, I know he did like this. And I watched it, but I've seen this before. Didn't, didn't not much pressure. I just, I mean, like, if you guys want, I'll just react to them another time. Anyways, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, fuck, fucking cars down the road, speeding your asses off. All right. Uh, Nerf Reload 1. All right, fuck it, let's go. You know, for for a guy that's been um that has uh, 40, 40.7k subs, uh, I, I thought this was gonna be you know more exciting. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's not. That felt extremely bland. Uh, I I could take a fucking Pringles normal slice, all right, and that will have more seasoning than this reload. Uh, let me break this down for you guys. So first of all, he has the uh, he has the trigger discipline of a Fortnite player. You know, I'm just saying he might be a Fortnite player. I'm not saying that he definitely is. You know, but I've certainly seen Fortnite players uh hold on to a trigger um for their dear fucking life. Oh yeah. Um. That is the saddest magazine drop I've ever seen. He just went. Shh. It's like, have you seen CS:GO animations? And have you seen? Have, do you not know that CS:GO animations are literally from fucking Source? Do you know what Source is? It's old as fuck. 
This is a source animation right here. And not in a good way. I could I, I could mo mo cap this entire video. Alright, I can mo cap this video and I can dump it in the source and I could use it for CSGO. I will mod it into CSGO. Alright, for the as like a custom mod skin for like the M4A1, and this will literally be it. <laughs> Fuck. Can we talk about that uh that boat catch like oh, Jesus Christ? Was it? <laughs> All right. So I will use a tissue box here to demonstrate the boat catch slap. So the boat catch slap, all right, involves a very special button. We shall assume that this is the the boat release button. All right. And um, certain manuals, operation manuals for um. R15 pattern rifles require you to, you know, slap the thing. Fuck, I put a dent in the tissue paper first. I can't believe I'm demonstrating this. <laughs> so, um, normally you just tap it or you slap it. Why the fuck am I just destroying my tissue? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that was the saddest slap I ever seen. That was the most low level slap I ever seen. Have you seen, have you seen like the CSGO slaps? Have you seen the CSGO slaps? You're like, it's like this guy just gave it up on life. It's he, he just doesn't care. He's like, ah, oh, fuck it, uh, reload, uh, uh, slap, uh, bacon, egg, cheese roll in the corner. Fuck, uh, uh, hands uh, uh, Discord admin, ah. Uh! I'm like, seriously, like, who hurt you, man? Who hurt you? That that. That boat catch slap demonstrates extreme pain. You're supposed to slap it with here, by the way. Don't slap it with your full palm. Just slap it with this area here. Alright, so here, uh, let me draw up a quick... Fuck. That, that's, that's, that's a you know, phone call. Give me a moment. Okay, I am back. Do not worry. The phone call was 100%, not an SCP. Alright. Anyways, um... So, what the fuck was I thinking about again? Oh yeah, boat catch lab. Uh, actually no, I was thinking I was going to draw a deep dive. So let me use physics to explain why it is more important. It is uh more recommended to use this area of your palm here to smack the boat catch. Um, so let's remember the formula for pressure. Pressure is force. Uh, ignore the, the math on the side, right? Is uh. Can, can you fucking see? There we go. It says it's force over area. That's that's what we define pressure as. Alright. We define pressure as force per unit area. Alright. So let's say for each slap, for the slap I do, I put in about a hundred newtons of force. I think it's a lot. Uh, I, I'm not too sure at this point because uh, I need to feel physics for my exam. Um, no, no, no. This is not American physics. This is a uh, this is Asian physics, bitch. Okay. So, let's say we're going to put about 100 newtons of force. Alright. So, I'm going to give you... I'm going to explain. Okay. So, click, so, let's designate the surface area here as X. So, the surface area here. X. Alright. So the specific area of this portion of my hand, which is what you're recommended to use to slap the boat catch as X. The whole hand is designated as 4X. Right, because it's about four times size, you know, just give a rough estimate. Alright, so obviously the wait, is there a way I can increase the screen size? You know, I don't fucking know with the software, right? How do I increase the, you know what I can't um I hope you guys can see your screen, but um, fuck. When the denominator is bigger, when the denominator is bigger, that means the resulting value is going to be lower. So the pressure we are going to get is going to be 100 with x pascals, and it's. 25 We're going to be getting 
these two amounts if you guys can see yeah so obviously this one is a larger amount than this one all right because the smaller the area of contact all right smaller the area of the contact the higher your pressure because pressure is defined as force per unit area so the amount of force per this unit area is more than the amount of force per this unit of area. And that's why when we do the bulk catch slap, we do it with this part here. All right? And we don't, you know, just just slap it like uh, we're spanking a, a girl from California. A stripper. Cardi B. Anyways, <laughs> the next reload we'll take a look at. I'm going to erase that diagram later because this is uh, a notebook and for revision. Um, Nerf Reload 2. What? Oh. Uh. Oh, uh, what? 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 Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Okay, so um, it's called the reload, but it's missing one thing. The part where you reload at the thing, you know, you, you just put like a tray out off screen, like uh, flick, flick, insert rounds, and then you just did, you know, the retaliate just like trick, but with um, whatever the fuck this blaster is called, because I honestly forgot the name. I'm not gonna call it a gun. All right. You know why? Uh, because this is not a real firearm and it's an absolute disrespect to call it a real firearm. And uh, I, that's why I'm not the nine year old that plays Roblox and Phantom Forces in your fucking comments calling it a Nerf gun. I do this deal with the Nerf gun all the time. Oh. No, I'm not that guy. Alright, because I, I have dignity and uh, and I don't want to look like a dumb fuck on the internet. Uh, ironically, I am probably being a dumb fuck right now. So yeah. Um, and everything is just pretty smooth, just once again really lifeless. Yeah, that, that's the biggest problem. Is, um, it's just really kind of lifeless. I don't know, there's just this lifeless quote. It's like this bit where it's like, it's lost, it's devoid of all emotion. It's just like, oh, time to reload again. Ooh. It's it's um uh, it's just really fucking life. I I'm, I I don't even know what what makes it so lifeless, but it is just so lifeless. Jesus Christ. Um, Nerf Reload Three. Okay, so he messed up. <laughs> he really messed up the sling fire sling. You know, like um, so sling fire. Do, do I really want to use physics to explain this again? You know, really want to fucking use moment? You know, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna bring up physics. So he's just supposed to sling it forward. Um, supposed to use a singular point and you just flick it up, and then yeah. Um, he failed that already, so that's not good. Okay, and one thing I noticed is that how he holds the blaster is also quite inconsistent. So what you really want to try. When you um, do a reload is you want consistency throughout all right because after all most of the time when we're doing reloads um we are mimicking the motions as you know from a video game so you have a start position wait i'm just use this to demonstrate again you have start position and after you execute your reload and then you go back to your original start position yeah that's just it don't get twisted just you know if you were doing a c clamp on the blaster before once you after you finish the reload go back into into using a c-clamp grip um, it makes you look a lot better this is a bit lifeless work work on that you know that the terminal flick thing because uh, i can see you're trying but uh, yeah also the way that he inserts the mag is kind of lifeless as well you, 
you want to insert it, all right, you, if you want to insert it like that, it's fine. You, know, you can actually speed out a bit. I believe sometimes when you speed it up, you add sudden jerks to the movement. It adds just that little bit of personality because that just going to that position and again, it's just really kind of, mm, yeah. Okay, never mind. He actually kept the consistency, so yeah, that, that's a thumbs up for him then. Uh, nerf we got four. Okay, so he did an equip. So the equip is pretty cool. He has problem taking the mag out though. Okay, so judging by that field of view, which is really bad, the field of view is extremely horrible. It's like you take a phone, you you, you have a phone, right? You you have a decent phone. Let's just assume we all have a decent decent phone to use for the recording reloads. And then we take that phone and then we just you know we hit the time zoom. Alright, just do it tiny bit, just give it a tiny bit. But then we just fucking hit it and it goes all the way to six times, you know, and just but fucks us all over. Uh, yeah, the, the stand gods are not happy with this one. Yeah, so the field of view is actually pretty bad. You really need to work on that field of view. Uh, camera quality isn't too bad. Work on that field of view, man. You've got to work on that field of view because you did a Mac tap off screen. I can hear the Mac tap. We can all hear the Mac tap. But the problem is that we can't see the Mac tap. So what's the point of doing the Mac tap if we can't hear it? You know, it's like um, bring an umbrella out in the sun when there's no fucking rain. What's the point? Sure, you look like Mary fucking Poppins, but you're not a woman. You're a man child that's been living in your mom's basement for nine years. You look weird as fuck. You're cross-dressing as a fucking Mary Poppins. The extreme irony of me talking about field of view when, when the... The webcam that I'm using, the you know Vimeo record, is just cutting out my arms as I do this. When I'm actually just you know bringing my two arms out and just do you know like the carby lame like you know, hello, but you know with my arms stretched out wide instead of just pointing at the thing, it's just stretched out wide and then my two hands are like that, you know. But that's that's just distracting from point. Another problem I use. So, if you really want to remove the, the detail of you struggling to take the magazine out, my, really, my biggest, biggest, biggest piece of advice is, one, look at other people's reloads, two, fix your POV, because sometimes if you zoom in too, little, too much, you can see a lot of the mistakes that you make too easily, and that's not very good. Um, another thing, I think you're filming on a tripod, right, with how stable this is, it's stable, alright? Um, but, you see, towards the end... Uh, if, is my computer lagging or some stuff? Oh, let's just... Okay. As we can see, we hear something hit something. I'm guessing that was the oversized <laughs> jungle magazine that you had just slammed against your table. So um, you might want to get a a, a ring mount. So what I suggest is let me get let me get my recording device. On. So what I suggest, uh, while it's not one hundred percent the most hygienic thing in the world, all right. But um, fuck COVID, all right. You see, I have a phone ring here. I could bring it up. Let me just use a pen to get up. Bring it up. And you know how when we filmed the Paco VOVs back in my day, you know what we did? Sometimes we'll take phones, and we'll take ring mounts, and we'll put them like this, and then we'll just do this. Yeah. That's the magic. And that's why I don't let people touch my phone. Um, because God knows what kind of fucking virus I just dumped on my phone. <laughs> I, I mean, it's always Chinese people, right? It's always the fucking Chinese people making new viruses and shit. I'm Chinese, so I'm allowed to say that. Shut the fuck up. 
fucking white people in the comments. It's just, this is just another lifeless one. I'm gonna make it to five before I have to time out for the next one. Insert, okay. Okay, so it's once again a really lifeless video. What I can really tell is, uh, well, there's, there's no trigger to spin. No, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not kidding, there's just no trigger to spin. It's, not, it's just not there. It's just not there. It's just not there. Um, so you, you might have, you know, I don't want to say it. I want to reserve it for another YouTuber, so I'm gonna just keep the comment, the, the comment about the trigger to spin. I, I'm gonna keep. The joke I was playing, you know, I couldn't keep it. Mm, yeah. I gotta save it for someone that's more childish. Mm. I mean, you're already using a Fortnite suppressor, so uh, I mean, I'm warranted to use it against you, so. Uh, no, fuck it, I'm just gonna save that joke. <laughs> Anyways, the feud of views, once again, it's just really bad. The feud of views, that fucking dog shit. Um, he has trouble taking the magazine out, so I mean, he's probably um, that one. Warzone streamer called Aiden that hasn't left his room in like six, seven weeks and he smells he smells like balls and shaving cream and Doritos and gamers actually no gamers are fun. G Fuel. He, there's probably G Fuel leaking out of his blood. I mean I'm fuck it, you know. G Fuel leaking out of his glands. He, he looks like the he looks like the fucking thing from like uh what's the movie called? What's it called? Fuck, fuck do I know which movie it is, alright? It's probably, it's, it's like a horror movie where the guy just fucking becomes like some parasite or some shit. I, I don't remember that name. Right. Yeah, alright, so we're done with Timo. So, Timo, look man, you're clouded, I get it. You have fans that are definitely gonna fucking murder me after this video gets released. I understand, alright? Here are some big pieces of advice. Get out your notebook, child, because you're gonna have to write them down, alright? One, get a better field of view, alright? Maybe you can try and get a phone, a, a mount for your phone or something. Like a GoPro, I mean, with your 40k subscribers, you probably have the monetization to be able to do so. I don't know, I'm not gonna judge. Alright, um, the next thing you wanna do is, um, you wanna... Ins Add in more movement, more life, all right, into your reel. So, uh, if you escape from top off, the way that they do it, is which is just taking the magazine out, inserting it back in, it's it's gonna be pretty bland by itself, without the added exaggerated movement that escape on escape from top off has. So that's escape from top off's own unique style, all right. If you want to do this kind of reload that you just did, you can definitely incorporate how escape from top off does it, which is to add a little bit more realistic shapes. Shake, realism shakes or whatever the fuck they call it, uh, or if you want to go for the modern warfare style, there's a there's a you know a little drip to the movement. So when you take out the Mac, you see there's a visible drip. Uh, I'll demonstrate from mouse right here. So there's a little drip in my movements when I snap back into my into my firing position. There's a little drip. You know? I'm not saying the word jerk so that people can clip this video and then afterwards send me it on Discord, me saying the word jerk and then put fucking Among Us sauce there, right there. No, my point being is at movement to your reloads, it makes it less lifeless. It doesn't look like a bland steak that has been cooked for six hours and it's, and we all know it's gonna be well done because it's a fucking ribeye. You're not supposed to cook goddamn ribeye for six hours in a fucking non stick skillet. Non stick. Fuck, I messed up the joke. My point stands aside, alright? Fix your POV. Alright, before you, I know you may not have that much time as other people out there. When you want to do a reload, visualize the reload first, practice with it. Alright, record yourself doing it, but don't upload it yet. Record yourself, look at the reload, pick out the tiny nitpicks of what's wrong, and then afterwards go back to it. Once you feel that it's perfect, upload. Alright, because the internet is harsh. And we will shit on you if your content is absolute shit and we can tell that it's been done in one take and that you're just doing it for clout, right? 
we we are able to do this there are people like me out there that actually do that on da daily not not when you're not subscribers peer, monthly peer pressure them to do it all right so that's my piece of advice to you Timo. please please don't send your friends after me all right i, I have had enough of people on twitter sending me death threats that they want to rape my mom stab them that's just totally unrealistic by the way that was just part of the joke twitter people do not get mad all right we move on to the next one um guy over here that looks like he wants to fuck his cat arman studios arman uh, how the fuck do i pronounce it ah what, what, whatever i mean he's probably a furry right i mean like i'm not supposed to give him the the um the dignity i mean he's probably a furry look 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 he's oh Oh wow, what are the odds? He's a furry with 97.3k subscribers. Probably um his mom and all her alternate accounts, you know. Um Oh he actually does like he actually might be a fucking furry. Oh shit. I might have angered a furry fan base today. Let's go. Nurse sniper what, what the fuck is this? Is your team missing out on key nutrients? Feel the final growth spot with new video show 10 plus. Oh, the trigger the screen. Jesus, the trigger is going to so bad. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at? Am I on Tumblr again? Why the fuck do they have a chick flay employee looking motherfucker in there? I have so many questions and I do not want to uh, do not want to ask them because I'm afraid of the answers I'm going to be given. Hmm, speaking, I might watch it later. Um, what the fuck did I just see? So, um, his cat is sitting in the sink. I don't know why. Um, that's completely unrelated to reload. I I, I think unless if we torture this cat and just dump it there, but I, I don't fucking know. Um. He God trigger discipline is so fucking bad. Jesus Christ. Uh the tactical reload is not a tactical reload. It's a you know, the whole point of the tactical reload is you're gonna save the magazine that's currently in the gun. Uh, in the in the firearm. I'm not gonna say fucking gun like some kind of shoe. You know what's the point of a tactical reload? Point of tactical reload is before I enter the room, alright, before I enter the room. I have half of my magazine current magazine capacity of fuck of my maximum magazine capacity. I have half a magazine worth of rounds inside my mag. All right, and I'm about to enter a room. All right, so the whole point of a tactical reload, I'm gonna I had I just had a fucking voice crack just trying to explain. Jesus Christ! The point of a tactical reload is so that when I enter the room, I have enough rounds to dispatch everyone in there, everything that's in there. All right, so that's why I want to top up my magazine capacity by simply exchanging for a mag that's completely full you're still supposed to keep the current magazine you're supposed to keep the half empty magazine you're still god fucking damn it guys learn the true meaning of a tactical reload just see the word tactical reload on youtube shorts and just copy paste that shit all right like it's a like like it's a discord copy pasta right jesus fucking Christ. god i'm grabbing the alcohol oh wait no i can't drink the alcohol is all finished fuck Sorry for the existential crisis in the background. Uh, oh wait, fuck! You guys actually heard that? Oh shit! Okay, never mind, never mind. So. 
I will say this is vodka, but it's not. I wish it was. Uh, my, my throat is really dry um, from losing my fucking mind here. Alright, it's literally just, you know, that, <laughs> that Russian battery meme is like, I'm losing fucking mind here. Right? So he doesn't understand the meaning of the word tactical reel. You know, not the first time. I mean, he, he looks like he's he's nine and he um, moderates on, Ro on Roblox forums. Probably uses his mom's credit card um, to buy Roblox as well. So this is one of his newer videos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It definitely is his newer videos. All right. So, God, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> the fucking recall! Jesus Christ! <laughs> all right. So we all know the guy wants to add recall to this. All right. Can't blame us. Some of us when we um when we play with nerf blasters, we want to uh, act like we are in a real simulation with few firearms or airsoft or whatsoever. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's nothing wrong. I do it as well. In my previous videos, you can clearly see me trying to simulate recoil. Um, but I simulate recoil based on the rifle's look and what it resembles in real life. So the retaliator I use, it resembles, you know, the M4 platform, the AR-15. Sometimes I use it um, to simulate AKs, you uh, know, the AKs pattern rifles, right? So normally the 762 by 39 cartridge or the 556 cartridge, um, the recoil is more, it's, it's clearly less than what's being shown here. It's more if you're doing short bursts, right? This sniper rifle in Fortnite is based after the British L96 rifle, um, which is normally chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. Not 50 fucking BMG, Jesus Christ! <laughs> he looks like he's firing a fucking a AK-50, Jesus Christ. And those who know what the AK-50 is, she's just thumbs up to you, but... Jesus Christ, he looks like he's firing fucking 50 BMG off that shit. <laughs> Like, I get it, sniper rifles are supposed to have a lot of recoil because, you know, sniper rifles are shooting a large cartridge, just move through the air really fast, it's a lot of energy coming out there, barrel and there's physics and shit. But Jesus Christ, we all know it's an L96, right? And L96 is trained by in 328 Lapua Magnum, and it doesn't have the same recoil as a 50 fucking caliber bar fifth M82. Jesus fucking Christ. Ah! <laughs> oh, it gets worse. It, it, uh, yeah, it got worse towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to the store and I am robbing it for all the alcohol stash today. This is just way too hilarious. She's, you can insti instinctively see in an attempt to anticipate the recall. My man probably jerks the fucking camera backwards. Like his head is tilting backwards. So he's slowly and slowly looking upwards, like in that one Payne 2 video, where all of the heads are just glitching and they just all stare upwards, perpendicular to the fucking ground. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it literally looks like that. It's, it, this, is, this is just a joke. This is a joke. I hope this is a joke. Oh yeah, and then he has you know, the CSGO fucking trigger discipline. He has a CSGO level trigger discipline. Look, his finger is literally glued to the trigger. Like, if if you got flex tape and you just like, you know, stuck it onto his finger, like a single drop of fucking flex you got on this flex you flex spray, whatever the fuck it is, and it just stopped. He's now chemically bonded to the trigger. His finger is now chemically bonded on a subatomic level. It's it's a covalently bond. Those who know what covalent bonding is, I, I salute you, you, you pass chemistry or some shit, fuck the right. It's covalently bonded to the fucking trigger, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, and then he pauses to look at his cat because, you know, he's, he, he, he can't wait to fuck it after. Oh, he ate a dart, oh shit. And then we have, we have this. Um, the, the Iron Man suit is pretty cool, um, I, I, I admit, it's pretty cool. Believe me, I try to make assassin group stuff in the past and try to cosplay as well. Granted, I didn't show the world how much of a fucking idiot I looked. And then here he is simulating the recoil with a fake Glock! <laughs> with a fucking fake Glock that's made out of cardboard. The slide doesn't even move. He's just doing this. <laughs> like it's firing a fucking G18, and we all know that G18s need a fucking fun switch. There's no fun switch on that bitch, it just goes. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Okay. The next one. Um. 
Yeah, fuck it. You know, a different deal from another time. I mean, Penadol you know, like, Extra with patented Optizop technology I mean, starts release in medicine after this, uh, what in five minutes. It? What fucking time is it? I can't get time. Uh, in technology. Oh, what the fuck did I have? I just seen. Oh, it is six sixty. Right, I'll find. What the fuck did I just see? Jeez. From now on, let's, we will do um, what I like to call the Uncle Roger thing, right? So, you know, the Uncle Roger's bits. Sometimes he sit like this, he got the two leg up, and then when he not happy, he put his leg down. We will do that trend from now onwards. We will we will put the leg up. Fuck, fuck soft point. We will put the leg up and then when we're not happy we put the leg down. This is definitely a situation when I want to put my leg down. Jesus fuck Gee, God What the fuck was that inspect? Yeah and of course for the inspect, you know, he's he, he has his finger group. God God, I inspect looks like a dog's ass. Jesus Christ. Why did you slap the why did you slap the thing? Why did you fucking slap the thing? Why? Oh what the fuck? Oh what the fuck? Oh what the fuck? Yeah. Why did you slap the side of the telly? What? This thing was so long, I put my fucking leg down on the floor. I didn't bring it back up, I put it down on the floor. I mean, I, mean, I guess you're probably Indian, so I might as well speak with, with, uh, with my only idea of what an Indian accent is. Despite being around Indians my whole life. And I should have known how to memorize the accent. Why do you put. Why? Why is it so bad? Why is the video so bad? You make me put leg down from the chair. Why is it so bad? Dumbi. What is wrong with you, La Pundi? What is wrong with you, De? What is wrong with you? The mother fucked it up, is it? Mother fucked it up? The accent is just horrible. I'm so sorry for all the Indians in the, that are watching this. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> why, why did you slap the blaster? I can't I comprehend. Why did you. Why, and why is she doing the inspect? Look, look, look. Look at how out of frame it is. This is the inspect. It's only Jesus fuck. Look, so much of the blasters is gone. What's the point of the inspect then? Okay, you inspected around in the magazine. Okay, okay, that's fine. What's it with your camera angle? What the fuck? This looks like if I slap the band if I put the bandy cam watermark. At the top and at the bottom, I will believe that it's bandy cam. What? But why did you slap the slide? I don't know. Why did you slap the slide? Why the fuck did you slap the slide? What? You you know how? You, I just realized it. This guy doesn't have an actual concept of how actual firearms work. I mean, I can't ask everybody to know how it works, but he, he doesn't actually know what the fuck he's doing. I'm convinced. You know why? Because most people, when you want to simulate a boat release, yes, a boat release on Retaliator, what they do is they actually use their thumb to simulate pressing the boat release, but what they do is just give it a tiny little bit of force on the slide to flick it forwards. Did this guy do that? Fuck no! He slapped the side. <laughs> oh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ! All right, I should just title this video: "Asian Man Has a Breakdown While wa Mental Breakdown While Watching Reload." Fuck! Why does this exist? Jesus Christ! In any case, you gotta slap. You gotta slap. Oh my fucking god! There's nothing tactical about that! Tactical is meant to be practical, efficient movements. There was no efficient movements. 
because for some reason then you just did something that was completely unnecessary and would make this life way much harder. What, what the fuck is the point? Jesus fucking ah! <laughs> He's got slapping right. Ah uh, yes, my favorite part of Call of Duty is when he holds the magazine on the gun like this. My favorite part is when you have the other magazine in the other hand and not like you know in a fucking vest. Cod style, yes, it's cod style because you know you're using the L grip. Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because there's no other game that use the L style magazine change grip. Do you actually know what you're doing? Do you actually know? Dude, I'm, I'm asking you, man. Uh, you can react to this. I, I don't fucking care. Just send your fans out to me. They're probably nine years old. I could take them. What the fuck were you thinking? I just want to go inside your head. I want to see. I just want to see what's going on inside your head. Right? It's fucking dog duck inside your head, sitting on a wheel, spinning about, generating random shit that you can just throw out. I don't know. Is there another one of those cases where if I, you know, take away the camera, if I look behind, I see a man with two pieces of bread on his, on his, uh, on the side of his head, and if I ask him what he is, he's gonna call, he's gonna say that he's an idiot sandwich. I don't know. Are you an autistic dolphin that's snorting drugs and cocaine or daily on crack and he listens to uh, mumble rap? I don't know. In fact, I don't know what the fuck are you doing. Nobody knows what the fuck you're doing. What the fuck am I viewing? Jesus Christ, I, I need class. I have mistakes. I have mistakes right now. Jesus Christ. Mac flick. Oh my god, that is the worst Mac flick i ever seen. What the fuck? What in the flying Pakistani fuck? Alright, do I really have to demonstrate how a Mac flick is supposed to be done? Trust me, a fucking shield from Singapore. Country, not firearms. Not airsoft. With only 500 subscribers, I can demonstrate how my max neck is supposed to be done. Let's say this is my gun. Fire up. Fuck, I need to stop saying gun. Fire up. This is my firearm, right? Or something that I'm going to use uh, to discharge your projectile forward, right? Guys. Max flicks are supposed to be done smoothly, but hasty, alright? You're not spreading your arms out like it's an episode of an anime or fucking Power Rangers just going, Go, go, Power Ranger! No. I... 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 In Rack Flick, it's supposed to be gone like this. Notice how my whole blaster is not disconnected. It's not. It's. It's not. Um. Notice how when I did it badly. My wrist. Uh, sorry. The stock of my blaster is not braced against my arm. To ensure that the the magazine flicks up properly. You have to flick it along to the side while it is braced up against your arm. And if you do it like that, he's lucky enough that the magazine fell off. Most of the time, idiots to do this aren't. When you flick the magazine up, the stock is supposed to be braced against your arm. So that there is a straight and stable flight path off that magazine. Not gonna go forward and drug about a bit in the fucking back row before it just limbs up like like a like a dead dog from bum to the desk. Why why is it really need to this time? Or you can brace up against the shoulder and then flick it off. There needs to be a stabilization portion. And that's why when you do it like that, it's not fucking smooth. It looks like Lara Cross horse died while doing that reload. Fuck in here. Is he gonna slap aside for no reason? 
Okay, I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it again. Okay. Anyway, for the Mac. Oh, find us on what is good on it. I'm not calling it. I shouldn't be saying that, but uh, you know, at this point, this video might turn into calling it. how shit is. We do a Mac drop. It's a little joke. You don't need to exaggerate the drop so fucking much that your hand is jerking like you do at 12 a.m. All right. I, you know, you know, I, I really bet pin is gonna fit inside the hand. You know, just, just, just say, just a hypothesis, it might. And then you know he he slaps it for no reason, and it just slaps it forward again. You know, he was like, fuck. And can we talk about the camera angle? Look at where the stock is positioned. Holy fucking shit! It is rammed right up against the camera. Let's say this is the camera they use. You no, know I won't be surprised that he's using a phone as a camera. You know, I use the phone as camera, but no shame. He's probably using, you know, fucking Samsung or some shit, you know, that shit company, fuck, fuck that. I need a mask on school. The fucking sock is right up against the camera lens, bro. Alright. And you know what's the thing about camera lenses? Camera lenses can be scratched, you fucking donkey! Camera lenses can be scratched! So if you put a hard object, I don't know, like a plastic, and you ram it up against your fucking camera lens. You know what the fuck is gonna happen? It's gonna scratch. Sure, it's not like it's if not SCP-096. You just see something. What the fuck? It's not like if SCP-096 just scratch your fucking whole ass line across your camera line. Yeah, I mean your camera lens. But even then, even if you did, it's just gonna be fucking dead. Um, that's besides the point. It's not like if you scratch like one time. Like, no. You're gonna find out that your camera's gonna have scratches afterwards. Um, if what I'm assuming is correct, and you definitely that you definitely just you know stuck your sock right into your camera lens, it's like, ah oh, man, you can't put a dick in the hole. You can't put a dick in that hole. It's not gonna fit. And then you force your way through, and then afterwards, oh fuck, there's blood leading all bleeding all over the place. Oh no, do not stick the fucking sock straight up your camera lens. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Okay, this isn't a dig against him or anything, but um, I find it extremely funny that whenever we talk about new emotes, um, there's always in some form, at least, besides shit trigger discipline, I mean, most of the people that are considered good at reloading still have shit trigger discipline, but, you know, people that um, are considered new, even though they have already shit trigger discipline, one thing you always see is, Normally, the, the reality is they just have a bad way of holding blast. Maybe hold the blast like this. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, what I do say is that learning how to handle nerf blasters is beneficial to um, firing with firearms because it gives you your stance. It, if you observe good videos, you learn a proper stance. How cool. If you watch my video, maybe you could cut that, cut that. I'm shot in actual life. Yeah, fuck. I need to shoot an actual rifle. I need to shoot an actual rifle. Fuck. I guess what I'm doing. That's what I want to do. I want to meet your friends. Besides the point. Um. Okay. Another thing I always say is just how do you fumble them in the magazine? I mean, like that's an obvious exaggeration, but I just find it hilarious. You know, normally the only thing is just be um they won't realize that there's a second magazine release there, and they're just gonna have problems just taking it out, and then just gonna. Miss insert and it just properly insert. Then it just close the right. Like, right. <laughs> but in this case, the guy's just you know just fucking around the bus, it's just flopping around, alright? And then eventually the muzzle just nyops, like nyops, right and zooms in right on his right in his crotch. Right in his mean and tears. You know, because I, I wanna have a loaded uh I wanna have a projectile. In a firing mechanism that's loaded, pointed with the muzzle pointed directly at um, you know, my cock and my balls. You know, the the thing that's supposed to make me a father. You know, I just want to have the muzzle of a Nerf blaster pointed directly at my cock because a sane man would want that to happen. A sane man. <laughs> Why 
why is your camera angle this bad? What? Is, is it because the mom that was holding the camera for you doesn't know how to hold the camera properly? It's like, oh, son, I, I don't know how to hold this camera. But I, if you let me commit incest with you later, I guess I'll hold it properly next time. <laughs> I mean, so far, Australian, the, the Aussie ones are actually the best from this entire compilation. And that's saying a lot because all these are just shit. And of course, it's called Tactical Aussie, but this guy doesn't actually fucking know what the word Tactical Reload means. Okay, alright, we have reached the, this one. Alright, fuck it, fuck it. Why do I always have to bring this up? Fuck, fuck, fuck. He's trying to do the Black Ops 10 16 in Smash. I'm gonna show it here. Okay, give me the recipe. Yeah. It's this. He's trying to do the Black Ops 10 16 in Smash. Right? I know what he's trying to do. One hand. There you are. Not! What's the point of an inspect if you just want to flip it around like a used condom for two minutes, for two seconds, and then just get back into your shitty fire condition, which probably looks like this. I wouldn't be surprised. But also, what's the point of an inspect if, uh, I don't know, 60% of it is missing from the fucking frame? I don't know. Don't you inspect the weapon to ensure that it's working and then everything is fine? So what's the point if you can't see 60% of it? Where did the other 60% go? The SCP-1068 that bit up and he went up into another dimension? Did he phase into the nether realm? Was that it? Or did you shove it up your ass? I don't know. You tell me. You fucking tell me. I know we're supposed to maintain the um, squat legs, but uh, at this point, you don't deserve to squat legs, but I'm just trying. Oh my fucking god, why is he snapping? Oh, I don't wanna die! Actually no, let's just change the lyric to I wanna die. I wanna fucking die. Why the fuck do you slap the slide? Why do you slap slap the fucking slide every fucking time? Jesus fucking Christ. Ah uh, yes, my favorite part about the speed wheel is um um no I'm just saying, man. I think your speed reload is missing something. Uh, let me just give. Let me just take a moment to find it. You know what it's missing? Let me just take a moment to find it. The part that's an actual fucking reload, you donut. You can see that's a tactical reel I use, all right, and I know that it can be done very fast. So at least he knows that that shit is fast. What the fuck was the point of holding onto the magazine at the same time as you're pushing back the slide? You know this. You you, you know what's another thing about that reload you can do? You can use these two fingers to hold on to the magazine that's currently inside the blaster, flick it out, insert the new one in, then you push the slide forward. The point is, you didn't you didn't do that. That's one. Second of all, you know what you didn't do? You didn't close the fucking slide. So is that a reload? No, you didn't reload the thing. You better you didn't even finish that bitch. You uncircumcised cactus fucking donkey. Jesus fucking Christ.
Finish this fucking recording. I'm gonna finish this fucking recording. I'm gonna finish this fuck. 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 It's like it's not a realistic video. It's called realistic, but it's not realistic. You know, right? She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's probably from fucking California. That's it. That's it. That's it. We're not gonna react to it. We're not gonna react to it. All right? Stay calm. Stay calm. See no evil, fear no evil. See no evil, fear no evil. See no evil, fear no fucking evil. All right, moving on. You know what? I'm just becoming Catholic just by viewing this video. It's so fucking shit. It's so shit. It's so. Shit. How many views does it have? Oh, you have got- Oh, no, no, there's no way. Oh, you have got to be shoving a bread and butter pickle on my fucking arse. Jesus Christ. 61k views! Oh, 97.k. 97.3k. 97.3k subs thinks that uh, this is quality content. Uh, uh, so it's either 97.3k of your viewers are mentally disabled, or as I like to call in my country, fucking retarded. Or two- Alright, um, your mom's bots don't know how, uh, your mom's, you know, the, the, in, the, in, the YouTube bots that your mom coded, um, from Python, are just really shit. Actually, no, your mom just a shit taste. Your mom should just do something good. I can't believe I'm trash talking like it's fucking Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> Gangster's the most normal one besides that. Fuck, the, the way they heal me. Ah, uh, yes, the gun flip. You know, you know, I didn't expect much, and then uh, I, I'm still severely fucking disappointed. You know, when it's caught a gun flip, you think that he's gonna flip the blaster, like he's genuinely gonna flip the blaster, it's gonna spin me there, and he's gonna catch it, and it's gonna be genuinely impressive for the first time of his life that he did something that was successful and it was actually impressive. Uh, but no, he just pointed the muzzle back at himself and uh, tried to shoot himself in the fucking fat ass pop, pop that he looking dummy that he has. Bloopers? What's the point of free bloopers? Everybody know that you completed this recording within five minutes, right? You decided that, oh fuck, it's raining. I have a camera. I have a blaster. I have fans that suck up anything that I fucking upload. I have a mother that's willing to do shit for me because she's a loser and then she got divorced when she was fucking 20 years old, right? I can't go with that. And then you decided, fuck it, I'm gonna do a five minute recording, slap it all together, force Force the editor in my dungeon below to put that shit together, alright, and then we're just gonna upload it. Fuck it. My, my, my dumbass fans are gonna gobble that shit up anyways, like it's fucking margarine or some shit. You know, you know what? If, if you like margarine, get, get the fuck up. Right. I don't know sure what you but uh, I like, I love my butter when it doesn't have fucking plastic in it. That's margarine, bro. I might be wrong on food people. Please correct me in the comments down below. Let's look at these YouTube shops you know. Maybe these YouTube shops are better. Maybe these YouTube shops are better. Uh, let's pick one. Let's pick one. Let's pick one. Let's pick one. Let's pick one that I think might be good. Alright. I'm doing this. I see that's a good thing. They are not your homies. Fam. I'll ask Grodinger right now if he knows you're a dumbass. Fam. Where's his Discord? It's already in front of that. Must be dumb. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Where's Grodinger? 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 Where's
Which one's coding? Which one's coding? Who's in info? Ah, oh, there it is. Maybe it's maybe it's. I think it's here. I think it's here. Which one is scrolling? Announcements. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. No, oh wait, no, it's not here. Okay, it's not here. It's not here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Which one is scrolling? Which one is scrolling? Which one is scrolling? Is it not recommend? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Which one's coding? Yeah, I'm gonna find a guy and I'm gonna ask him if he knows a, if he knows a guy called fucking. Who's it? I'm pretty sure he's up here, right? Uh... Wait, where is it? Okay, you know what? Okay, never mind, never mind. He says homies, right? He knows homies. He says homies, right? That means he implying that he knows uh, Alex Workshop personally. Guess which Discord survived. Okay, okay, Alex is on. Alex is on. Let's mess with Alex. Good for you, Alex. Good for you, Alex. But you have, you have a girlfriend, I don't know. I uh, demo sure I do. Hey Alex. Uh, just asking. I'm on studios. Personally. Uh, hold me. This doesn't work. Sorry, sorry. We, are, we are going into the Discord here. What's it? Uh, I don't really text the DCS called so I'm just going to ask. That'll be a question that'll be answered later, right? So, let's look at these YouTube shorts. Before I, before I have a funky fucking mental breakdown. So, starting off already, he's using thumbnail clickbait. Just, just the, the highest level of ability a human being could have for their thumbnail. Misleading thumbnails. We are going back to the lake. We are going back to the lake. So the moment I see something disappointing, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. And no, you guys are not getting a fucking picture of my crotch because I know you guys are going to Photoshop that bitch. So fucking hard. I'm going to have memes sent to me by the end of today. I have this. I have this. Okay. Let's read the video. Let's read the video. All right. Let me zoom out as well. All right. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm gonna throw this water. Fuck. Okay. Okay, no, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. Let's just accept the fact that it's not a realistic video. That uh, you're clickbaiting people with a shitty fucking title. And then um, when you click with people with a shitty fucking title, um, let me guess. I'm gonna look up one of uh, one of your videos, and when there are people responding that it's a uh, that it's a clickbaity title, and saying that this is not a tactical reel, which this is definitely not, right? Because I'm fucking sick and tired of people saying that it's a tactical reel, but then they're proceeding to do a reel that, by all means, does not conf does not 
what's, what's the term? Conform. Is it conform? Fuck, let me use the dictionary. This video has just turned my brain cells off. Okay, okay. It's, it's, it's just, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm using a Chinese dictionary. Why the fuck am I using a Chinese dictionary? Okay. Where the fuck is dictionary? Conform. Is it the word conform? Is it the word conform? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I have an exam tomorrow. Why, why am I? Why am I? Fucking reacting to people on YouTube. Okay, yeah, it, it doesn't conform slash compile with the definition of a tactical reload. This is, this is a dry reload. This is a dry reload. Right? A pretty shit one, in fact, especially with the inspect. The inspect is fucking horrible. It's fucking dog shit. Right? It can be thrown up in the arse. Right? It's going to be picked up by a fucking hobo in the middle of the street. Right? It's a good thing it's a big and egg cheese roll. That's it. Right? Fuck. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. This is short. Oh, yeah. Not to mention when he does the inspect. Look, look. All right. Look. Okay, inspect. Okay, it doesn't review his hand. Oh, okay, it doesn't review his finger. All right. Okay, okay, good. Okay. Uh, I'll find I'll find a video where he reviews that he doesn't have trigger discipline. All right, give me, give me. He he won't take. Me. I think he won't take. Me. Shut the fuck up. I guarantee you, it won't take me long. It won't take me very long. It won't take me. Very long. It won't take me very long. Let's find out. Let's just find out what this means. Right. Let's go. Show. Let's go play off. Oh, he has a lot of shots. Oh, he has 64. You love milking that algorithm now, don't you? Doesn't count up so quick. There's no trigger discipline. You have the trigger discipline of a black man on YouTube Shorts showing off his Gok 19 with iron sights that are put on in the wrong direction. Who also shows off his cheap PSA AK with a Walmart optic that jiggles like their grandma's tits and has a plastic as fuck drum magazine with the caption military grade AK you have that same amount of trigger discipline as those people in other words your horse shit I can't believe I'm going this series for a reaction I, this is meant to be like hard you know, I thought I was gonna go in, and it's gonna be the same result as with Tim. I'm gonna have a laugh. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be, you know, not pissed. Unironically, um, uh, I mean, unironic, ironically, um, this was the complete fucking opposite. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, don't just go. Yeah, don't just go. What? What's my feedback? I know, fuck. I, I know Timo's his friend. I, I think Timo's his friend. Fuck that. He's probably gonna send a video to this guy, so this guy's probably definitely gonna see this one. Alright. Here is my criticism. If it wasn't already blatantly clear. Number one. Don't put out misleading titles on YouTube. Alright. Don't say a reload is a tactical reload. Then proceed to do something that's not tactical reload. In this case, he didn't even actually do a reload. He just loaded the blaster and primed it. There. There. He didn't even he doesn't even know how to go back into his firing position. Right? Don't put up misleading titles and misleading thumbnails. Because he makes you look like a big, 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 Nobody likes misleading thumbnails. Second of all, fix your camera. Your camera quality is fine. I can clearly see how shit you are with your camera quality. It's just that good. All right? Fix your camera. Because the fact that your stock, the stock of your retaliator, 
I know that's not a retaliative stock, right? But that's beside what you do. When your nerve stock is right up against the fucking camera lens, you need to fix your angle. Right? Like I said, have a phone ring, put it at the back of your case. Jesus Christ. Put it at the back of your case. This video is so shit, even my phone wants to kill itself. Put it at the back. Right? And then, bring up your phone ring with your camera's main lens facing forward and then put on your phone screen I mean you put on your phone case your phone case over the screen switch on and then record the least you're gonna get is just some breathing fix your camera angle because it looks like your mom is recording that cap your reloads for you and those are not aesthetically pleasing because it's not, you know, it's not first person reloads are supposed to be filled in a first person, not third. Unless if it's a really well shot third person, but um, other than that, no. Last of all, next of all, fix your trigger display. You, you look like a complete dumbass with that level of trigger display. Alright, get your fucking cum flicker off the bang bang switch. And I know this video is going to be one hour long. This video is 100% already one hour long. Keep your cum flicker off that. Bang bang switch. Do me a favor, right? Do me a favor. Alright. I know you look like um, you want to scam my mother and take away her credit card details and then move on to my grandmother and then ask for her credit card details and then scam shit off her. Followed by um, asking for my sister's Instagram ID. I don't have a sister. Thank fuck I do. Alright. You know what I say. Last of all, um, don't slap the side of your fucking blaster for no reason because you look like a, you look like a fucking. You know what? In Singapore, we use this term called gundu. Pronounced G O O N D U. I might be wrong. Tell me if I am in the comments. It's pronounced as gundu. That means idiot. You look like a fucking gundu. That's what you are when you slap the side of the blaster for no reason. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, all the cycle on the side of the world. Right, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm just done with this. Alright, alright. Okay, okay, alright. I, I. Anyone reply? Anyone reply? I don't think anyone did. Okay, no money. No money. Alright. So, we're done with these two, alright? In the next, in the next video. I will, um, I will do the others like numeric reloads. Uh, fuck! Now we're about to do this guy. It's another big. It's another big closet. We're gonna do Megaton TV. Judging by how the others are reacting to it, whatever the fuck this thing is. Um, I guess it's gonna be another rant again. We'll be doing Christine Corp's nerf. Who has uh, who has been asking me to roast him? Okay, I don't care. So I'm just gonna do it. You don't need to just calm down. We're gonna be doing game 380 if we have time. We're gonna be doing trigger happy if we have time. We're gonna be doing this guy in Egyptian fucking hieroglyphics if we have time. We're gonna be doing that nerf guy if we have time. Uh, who else are we doing if we have we might be doing I think we're doing this guy as well, Glaive and Joya. Oh okay no he is pristine corpse left. Yes. Right. Primary objective we're gonna clear this guy next uh, time. Right. Uh, I hope by the next time I won't be losing my fucking shit that turns what was meant to be a 30 minute video into a one hour long rant or so. Why did I start this series? Fucking man. My bottle is at the side. I had tossed like two soft toys on the floor. They were on the sofa. Fuck. They were not supposed to be on the floor. <sighs> People are going to make fun of me in the comments. Why are you mentally scarred by me? No, I'm not mentally scarred by guys. I, I, am, I am not mentally scarred. I am angered by how one man can abuse the algorithm by putting in keywords, putting in minimal effort. Getting 
many, many thousands of views, while small creators, smaller creators like me, many other people can put in maybe an hour or so perfecting a single reload or a single clip that will, that will only get, what, 50 views. I, I am angered by that. All right, I'm not angered by the fact that this guy's shit. I'm angered by the fact that this guy's shit. And he's abusing the algorithm by putting in keywords. All right. If you go back to the video, I'm not rewinding, go and see one of his videos. Don't ask me to fucking do it. You can clearly see the words hashtag scrollinger on it. This guy's not scrollinger. All right. He's not. He's using the word scrollinger in a hashtag to entice the algorithm to push his video out. So people that look up the term scrollinger, they'll see this guy's video. And I hope to fuck they don't click on it. I am fucking done with that guy. Jesus Christ. He can take the criticism of why I care. I just don't want to look at his video from the it's, it's like looking at a at a at a, a JPEG GIF of a horse shitting on a little girl and then the little girl eating the shit and then shitting it back on the horse. That's what the GIF looks like. Alright, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. In the next week, uh, roasting your reload submissions. You're still allowed to put your submissions down below. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. How the fuck do I turn off this thing? Jesus Christ.